Highlighting greater accountability and better performance in education service delivery in Ghana is the focus of interventions by 21 education grants partners of Star Ghana. Star Ghana is the multi-donor pooled funding mechanism supported by DFID, Danida, EU and USAID to increase the influence of civil society organizations and parliaments in the governance of public goods and services. The understanding is that public goods and services will be better governed at all levels of government when decision makers and those entrusted with power are more accountable and responsive to citizens. The role of civil society actors is paramount in influencing this behavior change. Star Ghana has since January 2012 supported 21 CSOs across the country to implement education projects that will increase accountability and better performance in education service delivery in Ghana. As part of Strengthening Learning, this documentary seeks to chronicle evidence of emerging signs of change from interventions by some grant partners. Youth Action on Reproductive Order, Yaro, works on encouraging parents' visit to schools. Yaro's first quarter report shows that over 20 defunct PTAs and SMCs in Sisala West District in the Upper West and Sola, Tuna, Kalba District of the Northern Region were reconstituted and revamped. My name is uh, Frank Aplakwi. I'm the substantive district director of uh, the Solatuna Kawa district. And the Solatuna Kawa district is one of the 14 most deprived districts in the country. We are happy Yaro Star Ghana has come in to support us work in 10 schools in the district to beef up teaching and learning and uh, good governance in uh, good governance in the schools and uh, community participation. We are beginning to realize that um, Yaro will be performing well. Uh, they have brought in materials. They have uh, conducted uh, training sessions for the heads, the teachers, and the community members, the SMCPTA of the various schools. I'm called we have benefited a lot. Some of these things are, you know, the parents at first, they don't know what, how to take care of the children in the school. Buying of books, school materials, like the textbooks, uh, what do you call it, the school uniform and other things. Even how to get something for them to eat before coming to school, they don't know it. This is that the child is coming to school. But with your program, I think the parents are now able to do much effort supplying some of these needs for the children. I am uh, Noho Osma, a teacher of Nyange DA Primary School. In the past, parents were not aware that it was their duty to visit the schools to see what is happening between their children and the teachers in the school. But now parents uh, keep on coming to school to monitor the activities of their children. Other achievements include improved teacher accountability and decrease in teacher absenteeism, improved teacher deployment in favor of vulnerable and hard-to-reach communities, improved performance and learning outcomes of pupils from marginalized and vulnerable communities in the BECE, and improved access and retention of socially excluded groups like persons with disabilities and girls to quality education. The Center for Rural Improvement Services, CRIS, is focusing on improving effectiveness of FCUBE and re-entry policy for increased impacts of girl-child education in the West Gunja and Sola, Tuna, Kalba districts of the Northern Region. CRIS is advocating for community members, PTAs, SMCs and key actors in the education sector in the four target districts to have good understanding and appreciation of their rights for transparency and accountability of GES in the implementation of FCUBE and other girl child education policies. Chris has advocated for and supported 38 teenage mothers and 20 girl dropouts to return to school. I always study hard because I wanted to become a mother. Because the child is, she 
he's not yet attending school because he, because his father's to his father to his uh, student. So he's not yet the, at the age of attending school. Future, and I don't want to be useless in future, so I'm still a teacher. I want to become a mother teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Another grant partner is the National Catholic Secretariat, NCS. The NCS has engaged various stakeholders, including faith-based education management, traditional leaders, and the Ghana Education Service, and held national briefings and dialogue meetings to discuss issues of improving education quality in the Volta, Eastern, Upper East, Upper West, Central, and Western regions. The Catholic Bishops Conference says the government must involve them in taking decisions on how to manage and operate mission schools in the country. They say it is important to have a properly documented joint agreement with the government that is acceptable to both the schools and the state. The Gender Center has focused on safe education environments, promoting quality education and reducing gender-based violence in schools in Thai and Wenchi districts. The center has engaged with district directors of education, teachers, PTAs, school management committees, and traditional leaders in beneficiary communities and schools. Meda Gender Center and Astar Ghana for us. Say almost selecting the community here, they can't work just for me to do some more. But also improvements are back. Because beginning of my now, I have done the doing so up. But I did two more more. I'm two and I'm more name for the focus. I am. I done no. I'm a boss. So I am a man. Teacher for teacher for I know mama. Absentism and the advances as what it or a child or tells me somebody blame in school and I'm cola a drink by needy and a cloud your point to an association of a boosting crowd or more. I'm who say, Oh, many I get power on the rest to say, Oh, bitch, yes, you are here. Gender center, in fact, a month day or month church a bar, sir, for tanso, the boy, and in fact, I must do no the same at most school at two phone. A ma be up a school, they say, not pity a crowd, not. SMC Nagu, but she said the Utumu said, If you are a year, you are a camera, you will scream. I am a dissuade teacher for no so many years. I must say, a dissuade, you are a person who is screaming. Certificate, I am signed by Nana, Honorable Nana, I was a young man, you are a municipal director of education, a municipal chief executive. I am a mother, and I say, if I hundred percent that you are a OBC, I have shown 2011. I'm saying, oh my boy, ye, first, no, in your zero percent. I know gender issue, more in your 100%. percent you don't must be brave. The Integrated Action for Development Initiatives focuses on reducing failure in BEC rates in the Shama district, using dialogue and consultations with key stakeholders to build consensus on how to address the causes of the problems identified. Among the achievements are the registration of 1,325 pupils in 25 GHS and one in the Special School for the Deaf, the establishment of 12 reading clubs. My brothers and sisters, we are all we are very lucky to be part of this reading and writing club. I am very proud of it. I am very proud of myself because at first I wasn't able to read and write and understand. But now this organization of IADI and Sagana has helped me to read and write better than before. IADI has made learning very easy for you and I. And leadership training for 76 girls in the reading and writing clubs and capacity training for GHS1 teachers. The WA Parent Teacher Association is also a grant partner which aims at strengthening PTAs and SMCs for quality basic education delivery in the WA municipality. They have completed the sensitization of the 21 identified dormant members of the 58 basic school communities of the WA municipality on quality education delivery, promoting inclusion of women, children, and all other excluded groups in the 21 identified dormant members of the 58 basic school communities in the WA municipality, and educating the public and duty bearers on citizens' rights and obligations through the media. Voice of People with Disability Ghana, otherwise known as Voice Ghana, is implementing the Disabled Children for School project. The project is assisting children with disability, particularly girls from home municipal and in Kwanta district schools, to enjoy their rights to free education and participating in inclusive and special needs education. 
Boys Ghana advocated for the Maoli Senior High School in Ho to be equipped with necessary materials and equipment to enable persons with disabilities to fully benefit from the schools. Boys has identified 88 children with various disabilities in a number of project communities to prepare them for school. It conducted baseline studies and created awareness among guardians of disabled children, leading to the preparedness of some 51 of these guardians to send their wards to school. Ken City Media Limited, in collaboration with Three Heads and a Pen Stakeholder Collaboration Project Scope, has been created for traditional authorities, local governments, MPs, and the private sector to discuss education on radio and television. Here's a sample of a community discussion on providing quality education. <laughs> Because <laughs> Thank you.